Welcome everyone, the first step to remove the iOS 17 beta is you're going to open the settings and then I want you to find where it says general and then where it says about and you're going to see iOS version just tap on the iOS version if in this iOS version here you see absolutely no mention about Apple betas or beta software I'll put on screen what you should see then you are actually on the public release of iOS 17 already the public release gets distributed to developers one week early I would advise that you tap on beta updates and just make sure that you turn off the beta updates so in the future you're not going to be randomly updated to a new iOS 17 beta. If you instead see this text about iOS beta, then I want you to head out of the about page of settings and head into software update. From here, if you have the beta updates toggle, we're going to tap on this one, and this may sound a little weird, but then we're going to tap on the developer beta. If you don't have this or the beta updates toggle, uh, I'll cover that in a second. But you can see we now have the public version of iOS 17. Developers get public software releases one week earlier than the general public. And this is the same as that public iOS 17, which is going to release. If you don't have the beta updates toggle here or it's set to off, then don't worry what you're going to do. Head over to developer.apple.com and then tap on the double lines here and then tap on account. You just need to sign in with your existing Apple account so you don't need to create a new one and this is completely free to do. You will now see the developer agreement and then you're going to see here by checking this box, we'll check the box and then once you tap on submit you're good to go. In the software update area, you should see beta updates. And then just select the developer beta. So I'm going to select this one. And then you should see the iOS 17. If you still don't see the beta updates toggle, update to the software you see here. It will be an older software. And then once you've done that first update, the beta updates will show up. And then you can select the developer beta and enjoy the public release of iOS 17. Once you have updated, of course, tap on the beta updates and then turn this one off. And then in the future, you will only have the public versions of iOS 17 showing up. You may have a situation where you selected the developer or public beta and you don't see this iOS 17 public release. Instead, you still see a beta. Not to worry, in this case you have two options. Option 1, we're going to turn off the beta updates here and you'll need to wait for a public version of iOS 17 to release which is newer than your current version. Or if you don't want to wait, I'm going to have a tutorial in the description. It requires a computer but you'll be able to get off that iOS 17 beta immediately uh, regardless if there is a newer iOS 17 release or not. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.